Hi, greetings. Today I'm doing some content on cycling in the UK. Um, cycling can be a good idea for quite a few reasons. Uh, firstly, it's a lot cheaper than driving or taking public transport. Secondly, um, it's very healthy. It's good exercise for your heart and just for your general well-being. And thirdly, it's um, a good way to get to know the area and perhaps also make some friends. So today I'll just be giving you a few tips in regards to cycling. Number one, you need to pump your tires to get to the right pressure before you actually start to cycle. Adjust your saddle, make sure it's the right height for um, being comfortable when cycling. So the second thing I would say is just to adjust your, um, your seat to make sure that you're at comfortable height and your reach towards the handlebars is as is as um is as comfortable as it can be dress for um safety and just be mindful of what you wear if you are cycling to work you may want to make sure you take deodorant or something else so once you do get to work if you have been sweating you can just quickly freshen up before you're able to start work some people do invest in cycling gloves um, that's just to protect your hands from the elements. Having your hands out all the time when cycling can be quite can be quite damaging. So some people invest in um, cycling gloves. Make sure you have make sure you do have a helmet at all times when you're cycling. Some people do dress in high vis, um, perhaps a high vis jacket or um, a high vis on their backpack just to make sure that you're visible to other drivers and pedestrians, as well as other cyclists, whether it's in the daytime or the night. Have a saddle pack, or as I said, a backpack with just uh, your emergencies, um, um, maybe a, a pump or some cash in case um, you become stranded along your journey, um, maybe a spare light. So just to have those em emergency, just emergency tools for the journey, um, just in case something may happen during your journey so you won't be stranded and um, out of sorts, especially if it's in the night time. Right, so when you do start cycling, just start small and then build your way up. So don't feel pressure that you have to do a big long cycle journey. Perhaps you want to break it up into parts. Do double check if you can take cycles on buses or trains some people do actually buy a foldable bike and perhaps do part of the journey cycling and then the rest of the journey on the train or bus or tram or whichever but just build yourself gradually to do a full journey don't overexert yourself at the first time you you you, you travel cycle buddies find some other people perhaps that are thinking of cycling that you can make friends with perhaps you can all cycle the journey together um, also map out your route so you know exactly which journey you'll be taking map out your route some places especially in london they do have cycle paths which are just miles of um of a cycle lane which is really useful so if you map out your journey you may be able to find some cycle paths that that you can take to use your gears um Learn to use your gears, pedal at a steady rhythm so you're not out of breath or you're not struggling or anything. So that's another um, tip to pedal at a steady rhythm. Be confident on the road. Obviously confidence can take some time to build up but where possible just be confident on the road. There are a lot of, I believe drivers are a lot more cycle aware now. And so just be confident on the road and don't, don't feel like you have to be pushed into the left side um, the law has actually changed in regards to that you can actually cycle where you feel safe which may not necessarily always be on the left hand side um, learn to corner properly I'm not sure what that means um, treat other road users with care so that would include pedestrians drivers bus drivers truck drivers lorry drivers car drivers just treat other other road users with care in every capacity. Um, clean your bike after each journey or as as when it's required but clean your bike. Um, lock your bike up. This is quite controversial. Um, bikes do get stolen 
um, my husband has had his back stolen on quite a few times. Um, some thieves use the cutters, so even though you have a good lock to lock it up with, unfortunately sometimes it still gets stolen. So um, yeah, lock up your bike or perhaps keep it indoors or find somewhere safe for your bike. Um, the council do actually have a waiting list for people that want to park their bikes in those bike hubs thingies. Um, you do have some near the train station, you do have some on street corners, but I believe there's a waiting list. But if you contact your council and let them know that you do actually want to park your bike in one of the hubs, they will show you the necessary steps you need to take. You may, you may be you maybe get a spot immediately or as in my husband's case he had to join a waiting list be proud of your achievement be very proud of yourself it is an achievement to cycle especially if you're cycling to and from work or you're cycling with a club it is a great achievement so be proud of yourself um, practice fixing a puncture because you never know when you actually need to use that skill so practice fixing a puncture and get a bike maintenance book so those are the tips that i have for you in regards to cycling in the uk you can join a cycling club and meet other people and i will put some details up of places that you can contact in regards to that but most of all just stay safe um enjoy and um yeah just be safe and enjoy and go for it Thank you.